Welcome back. We'll get to Daniel Jones in a second, but first Cardinals and Panthers and Dante Jackson getting way up right there for the interception. Athletic. Dante Jackson, I think that's the kid from LSU. Cornerback you. Uh, well, until Ohio State cornerback. <laughs> great Ohio athlete. Took it. Speedy, speedy guy. Look at how high he gets off the ground. Tough day for Kyler Murray. It, it, the Panthers played their best all-around game of this, it, maybe three months, dating back to last year as well. They were great on both sides of the ball. That is a tremendous play. All right, little Chiefs Ravens. Patty Mahomes throwing it off the back foot to Demarcus Robinson, who catches it with one hand. Watch Patty Mahomes. He recognizes the coverage on my protection on the left. I got one less guy over there, so they're going to have a guy free. See how he takes three steps back? to allow the, time. the wide receiver to break off his route, and he throws it to a spot where only the wide receiver can get it. Great job by Patty Mahomes. I, if I was a reporter for Kansas City, I'd ask him about that play. Was that an ad lib? And watch what he says. And a hell of a catch from the guy who came into the season as the Chiefs' fourth or fifth receiving option, Demarcus Robinson. How about this CFL action? BC Lions taking oh. on Ottawa. Check out the trick play. Deron Carter with the touchdown bomb. See? Oh, nice little double pass. They run little bubble screens to him. They send him in motion. This one is a lateral. He gets his feet set. He had a pretty good quarterback coach when he was a kid. Was it you? Yeah, of course. I'm okay. not nobody to teach him how to coach. <laughs> okay. Oh, come on, man. All that privilege Back-to-back -back wins yeah. for he's Chris's well. son's team. Yeah, he scored two touchdowns the uh, last two games, too. There we go. Not having a great season, but, hey, I got him in the he highlights. He said they're going to turn the season around, see? Yeah, that's what he said. He says a lot of bull. <laughs> okay. DAV, John Blank, here we go. Yesterday, six quarterbacks made their first start of the season, and sixth overall pick, Daniel Jones, was excellent. His 300 passing yards and four touchdowns helped lead the Giants to their first win of the season. But CC, the best season starting debut for a quarterback yesterday was Blank. Uh, Nick mentioned Carolina. I talked to Eric Williams last week. He thought they had a good game plan going against Kyler Murray, but Kyler, uh, Kyle Island. Kyle, Kyle Allen. Allen was sensational. His velocity, him reading out the coverages, delivering the ball, and their play calling. North Turner, Scott Turner, they were very aggressive. They weren't babysitting him. Oh, we're going to run the ball. His ability to get out of the pocket, throw on the run, very impressed with him. This was his second start. He started the game late last Week 17. Season. In fact, in the last 10 games for Carolina, They've won two of them, both started by one Kyle Allen. All right, so I'm going to go with Daniel Jones. Daniel Jones, Kyle Allen was great. Daniel Jones was equally great. He was did something no quarterback had ever done in their first start ever. Two rushing touchdowns, two passing touchdowns. Also did it in more adverse circumstances. Carolina was dominating their football game. Josh Allen had to, re, or I'm sorry, Daniel Jones had to lead the 18-point comeback. Both guys were sensational in their first starts. I'll give it to Daniel Jones. All right, let's move on to the Rams. Cooper Cup helped them get the win over the Browns with 11 catches and a pair of touchdowns. In all, eight wide receivers have gone for at least 100 yards so far this week. Nick, the most impressive performance by a wide receiver yesterday was blank. Two receiver performances stood out. You could flip a coin on them. I'm going to go Keenan Allen, even in the loss. 13 for a buck 83 and two touchdowns. He was the best player for the Chargers yesterday in a game it looked like they had control of, and then the Texans came back with a great win for them. There was Jonathan Joseph. No, nobody could cover Keenan Allen yesterday. 13, 182 touchdowns. I'll go with Keenan Allen. And he had the best celebration there, too. He had a couple of them that oh. were really really nice. I got to go with Mike Evans. Dominated three touchdowns in the game. He should have had the game winner. If they have a competent kicker, they can kick a 30-yarder. But he was outstanding. Janoris Jenkins gave him nothing but fits. Big pass at, big pass at the end of the game, one-on-one. -on -one, the Bills set it up. Man, if he could just break that last little tackle, they win that game. So Mike Evans was sensational. Of the top six wide receivers in the league, Mike Evans gets the least amount of notoriety down there in Tampa. Bay, but he's been consistently good since he's been in the league. All right, moving on. Despite Ezekiel Elliott's holdout and in missing all of preseason, the Cowboys haven't missed a beat. They're one of eight remaining undefeated teams in the NFL. But Nick, the most surprising undefeated team in the league this season is playing. I got to give him credit. A team that I would written off for dead after week one tie because of how embarrassing it looked, the Detroit Lions. And if you look at their season now as a whole, it's like aside from that fourth quarter against Arizona, they've been excellent this season. Mm -hmm. 
pretty very good defensively, good offensively in two of their three games. You go to Philadelphia, beat a semi-desperate Philly team, even though Philly is shorthanded. I'll give Detroit 2-0-1, so they're undefeated, even though they're not amongst the 3 and 0s The Detroit Lions, most surprising undefeated. Yeah, you got to go with the 49ers. Jimmy Garoppolo was not good during the preseason. They haven't been good. A lot of pressure on Kyle Shanahan as a coach and John Lynch as a general manager. Hey, man, this is year number three. We need to see some improvement. All those first-round picks they have on that defensive front, off to that 3-0 and start, a couple of these games they tried to gift back, but the people wrapped them up like Jenna does and re-gifted them back to them, so <laughs> they are undefeated. That was a, The Niners tried to lose that game five <laughs> times yesterday. All my gifts Pitcher. are legit, okay? Uh -huh. All of them. Uh -huh. uh, on to some breaking news now. This is video of Jalen Ramsey practicing last week, something we may never see again. Ramsey reportedly thinks he has the flu and told the Jaguars he is unable to practice today and maybe for the entire week. Mm. Chris Carter, the team that should trade for Ramsey since this seems to be inevitable, this week is blank. Now, I'm going to go with the Raiders. He talked about the Titans and the Raiders. He had mentioned them in an article. The Raiders need a star going to Vegas, playing that AFC West. Patty Mahomes, Chargers, you need a shutdown corner. Right now, he's the best in the business. And also, if you want traded, you need to get sick. Stick to your guns. If you're trying to get out of Jacksonville, and you don't even want them to pay you, this is what you have to do. And that's why he's going, I'm sick all week. I already know I got a flu coming <laughs> after this flu, too. I got I, two flus, yeah. a double flu. <laughs> yes. How about a team that's 2-1, and one, could be 3-0, and oh, that a lot of people wrote off for dead before the season, the Indianapolis Colts. They have the picks, they have the cap space, and... Maybe the Colts or someone else could take a page out of the Patriots book, which is what they did with Brandon Cooks. Trade for the player, not to give him an extension. Trade for the player, use him for the year, and then trade him yourself at the end of the season. Recoup some of that investment you put in him. The Colts could do that, or they could pay him. They are right now the favorites to me in the AFC South. They have a need at corner, even though the team's been playing great. So I say the Indianapolis Colts, whether they want to pay him or just flip him themselves at the end of the year. Does he play for a different team on Sunday? Well, I don't think he plays for the Jags again. I don't know when the trade gets on, but I don't think he plays for the Stick Jags. Stick to your again. guns, man, if you want out of there. <laughs> he got the flu flu. Coming up, are the Eagles handing the NFC East to the Cowboys? Next on First Things First.